This is the new Power BI Report Server Portal. It looks similar to the SSIRS Reporting Services Portal from 2016, except it can now host Power BI reports as well. It therefore represents a single content management system for all the common Microsoft BI reports and related files. In this example, we're showing how a user can open up a Power BI report, which is a Power BI desktop file deployed within the Power BI report server. You can see it has all the interactivity you'd expect from Power BI as a service, which is hosted in the cloud. Plus, you can open up the report for editing within Power BI Desktop. Next, this is showing how a mobile report can be opened, also within the Power BI report server. These are reports that are optimised for smaller screens such as mobile phones. Our user still has full interactivity with the report, as you can see. Next are paginated reports also known as SSRS reports. These are typically less interactive, but can be manipulated by using parameters. Parameters are developed during the build of the report. Next are Excel files that can be opened up as a template within the Excel client or rendered within your web browser. In this example, we are opening up the Excel file within the Excel client. As you can see, the full data model is available for analysis within the Pivot Table Field section which allows self-service reporting. The user can then upload their version of the report to the portal which is then accessible for others to see and use. In addition, other file types can also be uploaded such as PDF or Word docs for additional context to the reports, or rather user guides. In this example, we're opening up a PDF. Something else to point out is that Power BI Report Server has its own release cycle, so updates will be more readily available and not aligned with SQL Server releases. <laughs>